Hello there, a new day, a new experiment. If you remember, I made this pack. It's a two in series and three in parallel cells, lithium cells, 18650, uh, classic, let's call it. And what I want to do today, I want to charge them with this power supply. This is a damp power supply, so it delivers until 15.5 volts without any kind of uh, amperage control or you know limiter or anything else I just want to see what is happening so first of all don't do this at home I'm gonna do this for you to see what's happening let me start with hooking my trusty energy meter PZM 015 and uh, of course to calibrate this for uh, the voltages we need here and uh, to reset it to zero because I want to have a control about uh, the power and uh, how much energy it's taking in when it stops and so on and of course I'm gonna have my little camera here for uh, lapse photos from 30 to 30 seconds and we have an idea about the initial current and voltages and stuff like this I'm just curious if this can stop by itself when the batteries are full it should be like that but anyway let's do the test let me plug this in okay we got 15.2 volts I'm gonna take this down to 14.2 that's the maximum three three s cells like that can take but to be sure i'm gonna just take it to 14 volts there we are 14 volts and then i'll reset everything related to power zero watts okay and then reset also the amperage the current meter or counter in fact okay and the last one the timer on zero what's nice about the PCM 015 is that the timer it's only running when it feels the current you see the timer down here it's only running when it feels the current in the circuit okay this is ready to go let me have the elements here we have the plus should have 14 volts like the voltmeter saying there plus here minus here and let's go and we already have a 7.72 amps each of this cell can take easily 1.5 amps and that's only the beginning we have a 13.8 a 0.2 volts difference okay so we just start the experiment let me have the camera lapsing photo I have this metal plate here so if something happening it's you see we are in the open air so if something burns shouldn't be a problem at all but like it's I said already before charging don't with do this at uh, all. almost uh, this is just for six amps experiment that's a little bit too much for now I wish to have like 3 amps like you know one of this is taking easily 1.5 amps and if there are two in parallel they are taking like 3 amps so we have a totally 5.97 it's kind of dangerous it's charging with 83 watts in 3 minutes we already have 4 watts inside there okay is it it hot no they are not still charging with 5.4 amps a little bit too much almost double and I can feel the stress in the batteries they are pretty hot let me see 32 degrees Celsius well it's pretty okay okay after 11 minutes still running with 5.06 amps here we are 20 minutes 
23 watts of charging 3.27 amps the temperature is absolutely okay 35 degrees 37 so I don't see any harm for now it was that shock in the beginning a little bit too much like to to see the, to the two times the amps but so far nothing's burning <laughs> okay let's go further and suddenly please hear the click that's the first one so the current went down to 2.5 one of the elements just gave up and soon we'll have the second listen the click and that's it it's gone <laughs> so the current went to zero and it's looking one of the rows to one of the group of cells in series just gave up i didn't realize that because it was no smoke it was nothing obvious over there and uh, i was still continuing of recording you know and here are the comments afterwards 26 minutes by the m meter and it's 12.05 now let's see the temperature 34 nothing to worry about absolutely okay and we what what's happening there zero current okay so no more charging current 28 watts okay let's rise the the voltage a little bit let's go to 14.4 15 so we got no more charging current why this is funny something wrong with the batteries check this out and yes there is something wrong with the batteries so the contacts or something get destroyed one of the one of the contacts let me see what's wrong here this may be one of the soldering no everything is good here everything's fine the other side is good so what can be wrong here let's have a test first row of cells nothing second this is good and this is good too so it's looking like first row of cells this one's here a little bit older that's true they just gave up <laughs> so finally what i found out so these two guys are kaput final remarks you know this kind of power supply it's very capable it's 50 amps and so on but it's dumb okay so there is no power limiting or anything else don't even think about doing what i did never try this because it's so dangerous we've been lucky that nothing blew up but uh, unfortunately one of these uh, cells you know the first row if you remember i've been tested this we have uh, with the internal resistance and it's 56 milliohms and another one of 60 milliohms so theoretically it could be okay but they gave up of course six amps it's a lot of amps for charging the this kind of lithium cells but finally uh, it was just an experiment don't try it at home don't do that again i did it for you finally don't forget to have fun please like subscribe and comment down there thank you so much see you soon with some other project bye bye